As a country, we began building our national grid over a hundred years ago. It took the dedication of neighbours, engineers, construction workers, politicians and industry leaders to get off the ground. Our grid was built because those people dreamed of a better future for New Zealand. A future where our communities had access to the electricity needed to prosper and grow. They built lines and towers to withstand the test of time, traversing mountains, rivers and native bush. They designed the grid to benefit generation after generation of New Zealanders. Today at Transpower, we work to maintain and build upon their vision. The National Grid is a reliable source of electricity for New Zealand and transports power to customers 99.96% of the time. And yet this easy access to practically unlimited energy costs the average household little more than the price of a large cup of coffee. But where that cup of coffee is gone all too soon, the grid helps New Zealanders economically heat morning showers, cook evening meals and warm or cool entire homes. Our work also helps lower the environmental cost of our country's energy needs. Electricity is the cornerstone of our lives and has helped our communities grow decade after decade. But how should we plan for the years to come? How do we ensure we enable continued growth for New Zealand? People from all walks of life are increasingly concerned about the causes and effects of climate change. New technologies are poised to change the way we consume, store and manage energy. And the way the national grid is used looks set to change in unprecedented ways over the years to come. So, what does the future hold and how do we plan for it? Hi, I'm Alison Andrew, Chief Executive of Transpower New Zealand. Our role is to operate, maintain and develop the national grid and run the wholesale electricity market in real time. We play an essential role in the electricity supply chain and have done for a long time. We know the future will bring many challenges. We have a vision for how we can best plan for the changes ahead. It's called Transmission Tomorrow. Transmission Tomorrow illustrates how we may be able to operate the grid in an even safer, smarter and more efficient way to meet New Zealand's changing energy needs. The future electricity industry will be very different from what it is today. But no matter what comes to pass, the national grid will be enduring and will enable that future. In the short term, uncertainty will remain around generation and demand. It's clear that New Zealanders are demanding greater action in response to climate change. And this is beginning to impact policy and key business decisions of companies that generate our energy. Investments in the national grid have allowed us to safely and efficiently move electricity from places where it can be renewably generated to our homes and offices. From hydro dams in the south to the windswept hills of Wellington and the Manawatu, New Zealand produces over 80% of its power from green energy sources. Today's peak demand, which rises in the morning and again in the evening, is likely to change in the years to come. Although solar panels have been around a while, they are still the domain of early adopters. Even if battery technology also improves and falls in price, households and businesses are unlikely to store more than a day or two of power, meaning most of us will still need access to the national grid and the convenience of at-the-ready electricity. Solar energy can't power our evening peak, the time when energy is most in demand. Panels on your roof are unlikely to produce enough electricity for an average household over our dark winter months when power consumption is high. And what if electric cars become commonplace in New Zealand? As people arrive home at night, their cars will now add to the evening peak demand. But technology is changing rapidly, and innovations at Transpower continue to be explored and tested. Demand response pays electricity users to reduce the energy they consume during periods of peak demand. It helps take the load off the national grid during periods of high energy consumption. Our demand side program is just one way we hope to face head on the challenges presented by an uncertain industry landscape and keep costs down for consumers. It's not a fix-all solution, but it is one way we can help to reduce the financial impact of uncertainty in the energy industry. Doing what's right for New Zealanders means ensuring the national grid is strong and adaptable to the increasing changes on the horizon. No matter what technologies may come, we know we must always work smarter so we can prepare for the challenges ahead and take advantage of future opportunities. We're on a journey to transform our business operations uh, to benefit both our customers and New Zealanders as a whole.
We've made considerable progress already, but we remain committed to continuing improvements in all aspects of the business. Our focus on maintaining and operating the grid in a safe and efficient manner is constant and serves as a driving force in all that we do, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's easy to think that everything we do is all about electricity, but it's not, it's about people. We help power people's lives, be they on a farm, on a marae, in a city, at home or within industry. Everything we can do to better serve customers or to bring an innovation to bear can have real potential impact on people's lives. We play a really special role in our country and that's something we should never take for granted. We know the future brings with it challenges we haven't seen before, but we believe the long-term outlook established in Transmission Tomorrow will allow us to continue serving the people of New Zealand in the years and decades ahead. If you'd like to learn more about Transmission Tomorrow, I encourage you to visit our website. Thank you for letting us bring you Transmission Tomorrow.